This video is in partnership with Lens Rentals. If you want to try out some new camera gear, follow the link in the description, use the code Liam15 at checkout to get 15% off your order. And also make sure you use that link because you will help feed this little pit bull that I rescued a couple months ago. Thank you in advance. What's happening folks? Welcome back to Street Notes. Today's episode is a special one. It's at an event called Frozen Dead Guy Days. It's in a town called Nederland in Colorado, a little bit west of Boulder. And as it happens, one of the first things I saw was this guy in this really cool truck, chilling in the back of it with the inside of the door painted in the Colorado flag. Is it cool flag. if I take pictures? Please. Yeah, thank you. Check out the Your dog's beautiful as well. I see him curled up there. Oh. This actually turned out to be one of my favourite pictures of the day. Hey Slim. Ah, oh, you're so cute. This is kind of a ridiculous event. People get dressed up, they do a lot of ice-based competition type things. And I'm a little bit less interested in the competitions themselves and more interested in just finding interesting pictures and exploring this town. However, it's so crowded and so chaotic that it actually made it difficult to compose a picture. We were coming up to this sort of bottleneck and it turned out they just didn't want to walk through this puddle. As it happens, I have waterproof boots on, so I just made my way through it, no problem. At this point I was not aware that what I was standing on was going to be a racetrack and these folks were kind of making their way around it so they, I guess, knew the way around the racetrack. And this event happening right in the middle of the racetrack was a polar plunge. People just diving in as creatively as possible, dressed as silly as possible. Now, unfortunately, I arrived there right at the end of this event, but it was about to be the beginning of the Coffin Race event. During the afternoon I spent here, I took over a thousand pictures, and you're probably going to see over a hundred in today's video. However, the total keeper rate is probably far less than 1% of that. But in an environment like this, I think you've got to take a lot of pictures. You've got to be quite liberal with how many pictures you're willing to take in order to find your way to those good pictures because everything's happening so quickly, you don't really have time to think twice. While these close-up racing pictures are interesting, there's a lot going on, I think the crowd in the background makes it a little bit too messy for me. I was quite drawn to this pool area with the blue of the pool and the green from the scaffolding and the orange in the background. It's maybe not great, but the people are looking up at the same direction, they're looking at the same thing, and I quite like this. This was another one that I thought was quite nice. I tried to use the lady's legs in the foreground to block off the frame. tossing this streamer through, trying to, we're all trying to use this in our frames as best as possible. This picture maybe isn't great because Jack is smiling too much, but I think it's, if nothing else, a good picture of Jack. Just moving around in this space is difficult, there was so much mud, so much water, it was easy to slip or get stuck somewhere. 
And at this point, I've decided that most of the positions that I have here aren't really working for me. The backgrounds are just a little bit too busy. There's not always a good point to get down low, but I'm kind of trapped in the middle of this circuit as all these teams come through. And I find that some of the behind the scenes, like this dog, is actually the most interesting thing for me to photograph. I even spend a while trying to use these green poles as a kind of foreground element. And I think it works okay, but again, the background is just so busy. Here I'm back at this green scaffolding, and I like this picture, I like the way this guy's sort of positioned on there. Now at some point I figured out that maybe if I actually concentrate on the ground, the mud in people's feet, this might be, this might lead to something interesting. And I wish I'd done this for much longer because this, I think, is where the shot was. It's the most interesting part of it. It's kind of like a detail shot, but it cuts out a lot of the background when you've got the rest of the team in the background and the people's feet are so big in the foreground. See, there's a lot of mud even getting splashed up on us. Rudy's camera is covered in it. Can I photograph your dog? Of course, I will stop to talk to any pit bull that I see. Uh, if I can get fun of me. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. And this girl tries to get her dog to pose. It didn't work out too well, though. Everything's gonna be alright. Here, I thought about this for a minute. I wanted to get a shot of this person sitting on this rock. I hesitated back and forth and I was like, sod it, I'll just go and take a picture. Because there was no way really to hide this or be subtle about it. And she kind of fixes her hair as I arrive there. And then she smiles at the camera and looks around wondering what I'm taking pictures of. And this may be my favourite or one of my favourite pictures of the day, even though it's a much quieter scene than you would expect for that kind of event. And as I'm walking around the town, I think that if I was to go to this event next year or any other year, I would, instead of being in the middle of that circuit, I would walk around and do street photography in the town. This person had a great hoodie on, to be honest. She reminded me of Garth from Wayne's World. Not like her personally, but because of the size of her bear hoodie, because it's kind of like the same size as Garth's hair. I love that man, the, the ring. That's so cool. Driving Miss Doobie. It's badass. What did you say? Driving Miss Doobie. Driving Miss Doobie? Yeah, so you can smoke weed while you're driving. Oh! I th this was a spot I stood in for a while. I really thought something good was going to come out of it. The building's such a nice colour. I was just hoping for the right combination of people or gestures or something. It never really came together. Some of it's okay, the colours are nice, the light looks good, but I was never quite happy with any of it. Now having said that, I think the best one was this. We've got the person really close to the camera coming in with a coffee cup and the person in the background carrying their water bottle and they're separated out by the door frame there. It's not great, but I think it's my favourite of that spot. I decided to take a couple pictures here and as it happens, a whole bunch of people are walking through in a short space of time. So I capitalise on that as best I can. Strangely enough, although I usually like complexity and more things, I think this last picture might be one of my favourites. It was really between the first photo and the last photo that I took at this spot.
getting more chaotic scenes at the local bars here. There was a lot of... There was loud live music here, people were packed in. I did like this picture of the girl carrying, I don't know if it's water bottles or what, through the area, but the pink hat saying Bagel Gang on it and the expression on her face, as well as the person in the background kind of fills out the frame. This couple here I thought would be interesting and I tried to take some pictures from the side then I realised this guy had his eyes closed, he wasn't even going to look up at me. Had I separated that stop sign from the person's head so there was a little bit of a gap and had I waited for the people to clear out the background it probably would have been nicer or maybe if there was just one person in the background. So the Sony a7C turned out to be a pretty good camera to use at an event like that. It is weather sealed so the dirt and mud getting splashed around wasn't too big of a concern. As well as that Zeiss 35mm lens I think is also moisture sealed although it doesn't have a gasket around the end where it connects to the camera. Moisture resistant it said, I don't know exactly what that means. But in the end, everything turned out fine. The camera had excellent autofocus, very good tracking, which is nice, which makes it useful for those kind of events. Good burst rate and all that sort of stuff. I do find the interface to be really clunky on it, and I don't really like the way the camera feels, which is a downside. It doesn't stop it doing the job that it's supposed to do, and the images look bloody good, the colors look great. The lens is very sharp and while it may not be the perfect camera for me, not something that I think I would buy, for the more casual shooter that's looking for a full frame camera to get into the Sony or full frame type system, I think it's a pretty good option. Especially if compact is something that is particularly important to you as it is to me. So as I think I mentioned in this video, most of the pictures I took today were not ones that I consider to be good and a small amount of them I think would even make it onto Instagram and I, I like to put in images that sort of show the good, the bad and the ugly and although I did even cut it down to probably about 10% of the images that I took over the, in overall during the day and largely that's because a lot of it was down to the burst rate and I was picking the, the best of those bursts or what I think was the best of the bursts. But at the end of the day, I think my favourite pictures were the girl with the pink hat that said Bagel Gang on it, the girl that was sitting on the rock behind that fence, and also the guy that was sitting in the back of his truck right at the start of the video. Those are probably my three favourites. Okay, so that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought, let me know what your favourite picture was, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.